Hey folks, AWR Hawkins, Breitbart News. I want to talk to you real quick about differences in rifles. I'm going to do that because there are a lot of options for you to pick. And for all I know, you are the next first time gun buyer. You know that between January 1, 2020 and the end of July 2020, we had nearly 5 million first time gun buyers. Nearly 5 million. And so a lot of people who may be going to buy a rifle, let's say for the first time, may wonder, are there a variety of rifles? If so, what are the differences? One rifle to another. Now there are pump action rifles, there are breech action rifles, there are lever action rifles, there are bolt action rifles. There are semi-automatic rifles. And among the semi-automatic rifles, the variety is crazy. So I just have a very small example here just to show you some basic differences. This is a lever action rifle. This is the Henry 4570, and that's what it's chambered in. It's called the all-weather rifle. It's lever action. When I bring the lever down, a bullet from in the magazine pops in to the chamber. I close it, and this gun is ready to go. All I would have to do is pull the trigger, the hammer would fall, and it would shoot. This is a lever action rifle. You've seen them on old westerns, and let me tell you, they are very popular for hunting, very popular for, for outdoorsmen. This is a bolt action rifle. You see a lot of long range hunters use a bolt action rifle. The way the action works, I bring it up, I pull the bolt back. There is a three to five round magazine down here that you can't see. When I pull the bolt back, a round comes up, I close the bolt on it, it's ready to go, all right? Then I just wait and when my game is in view, I pull the trigger. All right now that is a savage 300 short mag all right it will reach out and touch something if you need it to all right now this is a brenton usa br15 this is an ar15 platform rifle made by brenton usa now they designed this for hunting all right but it's completely different action than we saw with the lever or with the bolt the way this action works, as you can see, I have a detachable magazine. It would hold all my bullets. I put it in. I pull the action back. I let it go. It picks up the first bullet in the magazine. And after that, every time I pull the trigger, it shoots around, then picks up the next round. So it loads the next round for you. It doesn't shoot it. It loads it for you, all right? It's semi-automatic, so it only shoots one round per trigger pull, period. But the difference in a semi-automatic action and other actions is that it, it fires that one round, then picks up the next round for you. So it puts it in the ready position and you can go. Again, the BR-15 from Brenton, USA. Now, just, just piggybacking on that, this is the Double Star Star 10, all right? Now this looks, for all intents and purposes, to your eye perhaps, you go, okay, another AR-15. What's important is, this is actually a pistol. Same action, that same semi-automatic action that we saw in the Brenton USA, except this gun actually stops right here. This is not a rear stock, this is a stabilizer bar, all right? And because of that, the ATF categorizes this or, or classifies this as a pistol. Now this is chambered in 308, and it, what it does, just like the Brenton 15, when I pull the trigger, it fires one round, one round only, picks up the next round from the magazine, puts it into place and holds it there until I'm ready to pull the trigger. Semi-automatic pistol, okay? So those are four options. And I could have easily shown you eight, nine, easily, but it'd be too much stuff for the short time we have together. What I wanna tell you though, is when you go to buy your first gun, if you plan on it being a rifle, just do a little research, right? Think, what applications do I wanna use this for? Is it gonna be home defense? Is it gonna be home defense and hunting? Home defense and planking? Is it just gonna be planking, just hunting? Think of all those things, and based on the way you answer your own questions, you know what kind of gun you're gonna get when you go to the gun store. All right, folks, stay armed and stay free.